That's three of them that can charm your character. I suggest just focusing on one at a time. One thing you can do is if you if you have Dragoon Spirits on everyone and have them charged up, is if anyone gets charmed, you can use a special, and that will knock them out of ch the person who's charmed out of it, so you can get regain control. Not to mention completely own the battle <laughs> afterwards. I just suggest having Kongul for this battle because of the fact that you need to focus one at a time. And Kongul, that's what he's best at. Focusing one at a time. Hey <laughs> hey. <laughs> Rose, you're just a you're just a distraction at this point. Dart and Kongu will have this battle set. Ah, oh, darn it! But yeah, you won't be seeing me do all the combinations on that chest. I'll probably show you that one combination, because we will see it after all. And then uh, cut to each in the individual item each time when we get one. Yeah, as long as you focus them at one at a time, they're not as bad. If you try to take them all out at once, they'll start charming your team like mad. Because they'll only start char charming once they're halfway dead. So as long as you make sure to do only one at a time, you'll have a better chance of surviving. Oh no! Oh, I thought he was going to charm Kongul. That would have ended badly. Oh, he's not even at yellow. That would definitely put him in the red. And I knew Kongo would be next. It was he was due. Okay, uh, the captain has invited us himself, so now that door that we saw closed earlier will now be opened. Haha, -ha. you can't beat me, I'm simply the best there is. The best way to deal with this is it just run forward? I think you can do it. Nope, it keeps scrolling down. But what, after you get out of the battle, you can just run on forward. So if you don't want to deal with having to go around them, just get into the, a battle with one of them, and then just run forward at the end. I know it ha you haven't noticed it, but 
but these will wisps are actually pretty hard to hit. They have they have a pretty high evasion to their attack, to physical attack. But uh, even a high evasion still won't have that big of an effect, as you've noticed. You make a lot of noise when you move. Ah, see? I missed. Okay, and just run forward. Finally, you get to heal a little more about the black monster. See you at work. That's it, just money. They got a hundred three hundred G. Now that door that we saw locked earlier, now we can enter it. And it'll have a bo the boss battle for this area. Of course, we're gonna hold out on it until we've done that little bit. Darn it. I was oh well. Hmm? I was hoping to have gone around it. But, eh, whatever. One more battle, and then I'll be showing you how to open up that chest. The thing is, since it's so randomly generated to a fault, I'll just be cutting to each and every item that we get. And I'll probably skip out on the last item because it's only two chances. Even when you're seated, it'll say it's a pretty low chance because there are six different combinations that it could be. And that's if you just. Well, not six. Let's see. Here. There's nine. Ch there are nine options when you're seated. Nine. That means the. 10 choices I have, I can try out all the combinations. That's why I think I'll be able to succeed the first time. As long as I don't mess up, I'll be able to try every option and succeed. But I have to be super seated. That's three numbers the same. And I don't think I've ever had three of the numbers the same. If three of them are the same, that means we have a total of four options. I don't think it ever gets that way, and if it does, it's a very low chance. 
but if you manage to get three of them the same on the lat on the last chest, you're good. Huh? You have a t you have a total of four options, and you can choose two. That gives you a good 50% chance that you'll be able to pick the right one. <laughs> she didn't even flinch. We are witnessing a tragedy from the past. It's awful. Why did I have to do this? The black monster. How much does he have to kill before he satisfies himself? Stop it! Sorry, what was I thinking? Let's move on. You want to know, don't you? We'll skip out on the door, of course. Need to do a quick heal. I was pretty damaged. Okay, save just in case something terrible happens. Okay, first off I'm gonna assume that both the numbers are used. We're going to assume that both of the fives are used. This gives us pretty... It's not It's not nine combinations. What was I thinking? It Odds are hard on me. Does it open... Eight more times. Okay, I'm going to assume, because I kept getting those dots, that five was in the right place. I think... There we go. If at least one of them is in the right place, you'll get the dots. So that means only one of the fives are used. New item. Okay, I'm going to stop here and only start up the recording every time we get a new item. I'll see you after I finish that. Okay, and I'm back, and as you see, I actually managed to get this. It actually didn't take as long as I had expected. Normally when I try to go for this, I'll be trying for hours and never get it. But now, I actually got it. Makes the addition completely successful. Problem with this, of course, is the fact that uh, it doesn't count 
give you addition experience, which means it it won't level up. So you only can't. So this is only really useful once you leveled up the addition, and by that point, you probably have mastered using the addition. So it's not that useful. Also, managed to get Madness Hero. I'm leveling up Hard Blade. It was at 100% damage, and then it went up 50% on level 2, and 50% again on level 3. If this continues, it'll be at 300% at max level. It truly is a damage-oriented attack. Because the SP hasn't gone up at all, but the damage? Ugh, it's been going up really high. Also, I managed to get Hammer Spin, which hasn't leveled up yet. It hasn't been that long. And, uh, even at level 1, it's still the same amount of power as a level 5 Double Smack. So clearly an improvement in every way. In Pursuit, Pursuit has been slowly leveling up, but that's to be expected. All level 1 additions are pathetic in, in damage and SP. The only good they are is the fact that you only have to do one button press to do them properly. Which, if, you, if doing the addition properly is a big must, it definitely helps. Luckily, because of what Con of how strong Kongul is, I love even a t level maxed out level first edition is still useful than than most others level one. But yeah. Uh, I have finished with all that, so I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. I think I'm going to go ahead and max out Pursuit, and then switch him out. And use Meru and Rose for... Oh no. No, I think I'll max, that, max out Meru's addition, and then switch her out for Kongul. And then continue on to the battle. I think I'll max out Hard Blade while I'm at it, and get her ultimate attack. That way, uh, I'll be going into the battle with her ultimate attack. And the second person to get her, the ultimate attack in this game so far. But it won't, definitely won't be the last. I plan to get all of their ultimate attacks. Which he, his madness hero, I think is an SP oriented attack, so it's not going to get that much damage. But he's. But so far, yeah. Kongo leveled up his Dragoon Spirit. He didn't learn a new spell. Uh, he only gets three spells, unlike everyone else who gets as much as four. He only gets three. And he learns a spell every odd level. So, but all of his attacks are hit everyone in the battle, so making it, it makes it rather useful. Because if it only hits one enemy, well, might as well just use his physical attack. Otherwise, it, you're wasting your time. Anyway, I'm going to, uh... It closed up again? I don't think you actually get anything out of it. Can you actually open the thing up? I'm going to have to check up on that, because I thought that was everything. But yeah, I wasn't actually expecting to get the War God, Ultimate War God. I was expecting to fail and give up. So I'll see you after I check up to see if that is... If I can actually open that thing up. As well as the fact that I need to do some more grinding. So I'll see you in the next, the next time around.
and I'm back. And guess what? Shine is now level 5 in Dragoon Spirit. You have no idea how long this took me. Did I just finished it today, which is the same day I'm going to be uploading this. And, you know, I'm, I'm running a little late on uploading it because of it. Because it took me so long to level it up. In fact, I was leveling up to additions while doing it. Because it, she's a squishy and can die easily, so I had to kill a few enemies while she's just hitting them. And as a result, uh, I've got a few things done. Like Hammer Spin is now at maximum dragon level uh, in addition. And he's messed, maxed out his addition level and leveled up his dragoon. Uh, Rose uh, leveled up her dragoon spirit while she was at it. And is now doing demon stance. And even Dart leveled up his dragoon spirit to max and finished off Madness Hero. All in the time it took to level up her dragoon spirit to max. And I was even working on Demon Stance while doing this. I'm glad I finally finished her off. Now, you might be asking why I was even bothering about to do it right now before we start continued on. But you might have realized that uh, all the enemies were, de well, most of them were of darkness based. Well, you see, she's light based, which means. Her attacks are strong against them. I got this adjusted here. Bravery, bravery amulet. Needless to say, this boss is supposed to induce fear as well. You black monster. How dare you come here pursuing Princess Lilia? But as long as we're here with her, we are not going to give her up. How dare you, monster, using human word words to fool us. Unforgivable. Even if it costs my life, I won't give up our prin Princess Olivia. Yeah, you fight five enemies. And all five have been taken down at once. Uh, if they, if you don't, t if you take down the one of the guys without taking down the rest, after a couple of turns, it comes back up to fight you. Soon. Yeah, it's not easy. And the ghost commander is the hardest of them. He has the most HP. Die. Darn it! I thought I had pressed it at the right time. Stunned her? No! I need her up! I need her up! Pa paralyzed... The body. So maybe this will help. Yes. Okay, okay. Just <laughs> defend. and Rose almost has. That means everyone's going to be staying in their Dragoon Spirit for a while. Also gave her the accessory that uh, half again yeah. her magic. It's her total MP because a regular attack is useless. White Silver Dragon. Light strength 100% all, and even heals everyone on the team. That's less important, but it's going to utterly destroy him. Them.
he survived. Fine then. It's not actually 175%, it's actually just 75. It was a typo. Just to let you know, it's not that powerful. It's only as powerful as this, but it hits everyone in the field. But I'm just going to use it because I want you to, want to show it off. Take that. Thank God, you made it, Princess Olivia. Oh, wait! Is there still something that I don't know about? Okay, now I'll never use Shauna again. I use Kongul and Rose until... Uh, the end of the chapter, because Rose is about to finish off as well. Ah, he finally learned five feet shadow. Never mind. Don't be partial in Rose. Be sure to get this item right now. Dancing Dagger. It's a new weapon for Rose, if you couldn't tell. Which is such a shame, because the most powerful weapon, Shadow Cutter, until then, was a darkness based attack. And there are darkness enemies everywhere. This weapon is not an element, making it much better. You are alive, oh lord, it was not in vain. I have been wandering for 18 years and longing for you. I can now end everything. I can go to the place where everyone is. Wait, what kind of relationship do I have with this person? The ship is sinking? Yeah, 